Hello, welcome to a very sunny day in the office. Today I've just opted for no skin makeup because my skin needs to breathe. So that's what we're doing today. It actually feels really nice. I'm getting more used to doing this. You know when I was like 13, 14, 15, I always swore I'd never ever leave the house with no makeup on. I just couldn't imagine doing that. Now it's rare that I put it on to be honest. Today I have got like a full day work. I've got a commission to do which involves a portrait. I've not done portraits for ages. I actually have reopened my books for little portrait commissions so if you're interested head over to my Instagram. I'll put it all in like a highlight so you can see how it works but yeah i've reopened my commissions for that i've just got a delivery actually so i'm going to go and show you that and also we managed to put up the frames in the living room the other day we are boyfriend's just unloading the dishwasher we are finally able to put our frames up in the living room so i don't know if i mentioned on the vlog but this sofa arrived without its feet but they arrived this morning so we're going to put the frames that we can put up with command strips up on this wall i was waiting because i wanted to know like you couldn't really judge how tall the sofa was so i didn't really know where to start the frames and i didn't want to have to stick them all up to take them back down again so they've all been like hidden behind this door so these are the prints we've got i'm thinking this one's probably going to go in the bedroom because eventually we're going to put a big shelf across the top of the bedroom and possibly this one but yeah these are the prints all mean something to us both but yeah, I think this one's going to go in the bedroom and that one. And then obviously I've got a lot of decennio prints because I'm addicted to decennio. So I'm going to get some out of these tubes. Every time I switch prints, I save the ones that like I swap them out with. So we're going to have another look at what's in here and see if we can find some that we'd like on the wall. Obviously it'll be like an ever expanding collection, but we'll try and get some up today. I knew you were going to do that. Every time. I knew, <laughs> I nearly said if he'll lose his dog. If I turn around, there won't be sense of direction. <laughs> We've brought in reinforcements because we couldn't do it yesterday. If he's fallen on our head, we're claiming it off you. I've lost my child. Gus? Are you under there? There he is. <laughs> Can you spot him? Cos cos. What are you doing under there? <laughs> How do you even fit under there? You're not going to fit under there soon. You're going to be too big. You're very cute though. You ready to see him go crazy when I give him a treat? Okay, I have his absolute favourites. Pretty sure these have got some sort of addictive something in. But, can you see him right now? Do you want some? Yeah. Alright, you can't do it without having a twick, okay? So, I'm trying to make him scratch the post rather than the bed. Come up here. <gasps> Good boy. Oh, you dropped it. We're also trying to train him to know his name a bit better. However, he follows me round anyway, so it proves kind of difficult. Yeah. Gus, Gus. Good boy. Oh, you purring? You purring? I'm going to go downstairs and open this mirror. In fact, let's not leave the open tub of dreamies because he will definitely jump up and get it. We need some scissors, Gus. So this is the parcel, I think it's a mirror. I only ordered this like two days ago, so if it is, it's very speedy delivery. Dad, if you're watching this, we've got another mirror to put up. Let's hope it's not broken. Gus, I've got your favorite thing here. It's bubble wrap. Oh dear. 
So, you know what? I have a hunch. It's broken. I mean, kind of annoying, but with delivery drivers throwing things about like they do, it kind of doesn't surprise me. I'm gonna go and hold this up where it's gonna go. And then, no, because <laughs> it's already broken, pal. Don't break it anymore. Um, and then I'll obviously email them. That's like dramatically broken too. I don't wanna, it's bits of glass, so I'm not gonna let go near it, but. Okay, so I've emailed the mirror company. Hopefully they reply pretty fast. And I've realized I've just been making some changes for Hannah's sunny side pans. And my laptop's going really slow, which makes no sense because it's a very, very powerful laptop. It's new-ish. Um, so I think I need to update it. Does anyone else do this with updates? Like it always pops up in the corner of my laptop, like your laptop needs updating. And you say like, remind me at this time tomorrow and then just never do it. I've been doing that for a while. So I'm gonna bite the bullet and update it. It scares me though, because a couple years ago, I updated my older laptop, my, my other MacBook. And when I updated it, it broke my editing software. Like my software, Final Cut Pro, hadn't been like updated to work with the new thing. Oh, it just, things went wrong. And obviously that's my work. <laughs> so it's kind of scary, but I'm gonna let my laptop update. It's sort of just down here on my desk. I'm gonna set that off. And I've actually decided, I think I want to rearrange my office a little bit. There's something not sitting right with me. And I think it's the fact that my desk is against the wall. Now, if you've watched my moving vlogs right from the start, you'll have probably seen when I very first put this desk in the place, it was just sort of there as like a means do. A means do. However, whilst actually working in here, I think I like the idea of it being sort of like in the middle of the room. I might change my mind. I might completely hate it, but I've been thinking about it for a few days now. So I'm gonna just do it. So, Cue a time lapse of me struggling to move the world's heaviest desk. In fact, let me show you what I'm working with. So, this is the office. So, obviously, on this wall is stock and all that kind of stuff. It's a bit messy at the minute because obviously I've been using it. And then on this side is the desk. I've got two Alex drawers and, well, two tall Alex drawers and then a small one. So, I'm thinking maybe spin the desk this way. I'll probably end up moving the Alex drawers somewhere, might rearrange them slightly, I'm not sure, and then we'll figure everything else out. But I just want to spin it round and see how it feels. The only issue is, this is like the heaviest desk you could ever imagine. It's a sit-stand desk, so it's very hefty, so wish me luck. Also forgot to say, um, I changed my clothes because I was wearing full knit and it's not actually that cold. so i've moved the desk as you've seen i attempted to spin these drawers to face like so the drawers fronts faced this way but they're both like if i stacked them next to each other they're too wide and it comes out past the windowsill then i thought oh well maybe i could put that in place of this one so at least the desk can move up a little bit but that literally saves like two centimeters so there's not really much point in doing that my other option is just to block the windowsill a little bit but i don't really want to do that either at this point i'm sort of regretting my life choices because i don't really know what to do about it in the meantime i'm just gonna eat this apple i'm gonna have five minutes and try and figure it out that laptop's updating i've had a break <laughs> and i couldn't find gus Turns out he's been really useful. Oh dear. He's snoozing. Sorry, I will leave you in peace, little boy. Okay, I've come to the conclusion. I'll just knock stuff over. I'm gonna try and see what it looks like with those drawers in front of the window. Because that's really the only way I can have the desk far enough over so it doesn't look cramped. However, it might still look cramped, but we've just got to give it a go because if I don't try it now, I'm not going to do it. So, I'm going to spin these round. Although, when I spun this round the first time, the feet came off. But I can't remember where to put them back on, so hopefully that's not an issue. <laughs> then, this one next to it. 
I'm okay with that. Now, we nudge my desk. <laughs> little ride I guess I can't test out my new desk yet hmm? I mean you look handsome there I've just pinned the wire up for this desk because when we first wired it up in my parents house we put the control panel on this side but it could really do with being on that side you can customize it but obviously since then it's changed so this is like a bit of a temporary solution I've just wired it up like that and then it'll plug in behind there or in this extension. I'm gonna sort all the wires out. This feels good. So this is what we're working with now. Obviously there's clutter everywhere, um, but I do quite like it. The only thing that's annoying me is this. These drawers, I don't really know what to do with them, but they're annoying me. I'm gonna put some, like all that paper stuff away and obviously tidy, but I think layout wise, I think we're good. I do quite like this and obviously this is a really nice background for videos so maybe I could like put my tripod and stuff here and we've got a proper background that was another reason I really needed to change it because I just wasn't feeling motivated to film and then this is the view in the other direction I think this is good he's discovered one of the feet <laughs> from the drawers and I can't not film him It's been about an hour and a half and my laptop is still updating so I'm just making myself some very quick and lazy lunch. If you know me, the kettle's boiling, if you know me you'll know that I hate with a big passion making lunch. I don't know why it started when I went to uni, I just never know what to eat. In fact it was even before I went to uni, I just don't know what I fancy for lunch. I can do breakfast, cereal, wheat fix, no problem. Dinner? Fine. Lunch? No thanks. Three meals a day, thinking of what to eat is just too much. So for lunch I usually just end up finding whatever's in the fridge. And today I found, it's not even in the fridge, I found super noodles and tinned oranges. you what are you doing to my blanket we got zooms <laughs> get off the mirror by the way I worked with Logitech a couple months ago, probably a while ago now actually, and I spoke about their keyboard and mouse. I still love these things and because I've not even been using my desk obviously I've not got the full setup out so now today is the day. Hopefully it's charged. Yeah this is the MX Master 3 mouse which I love. It's like ergonomic so it stops my hands from hurting and then I have the mouse, the mouse, the um, keyboard as well which is great and I think once I've found my laptop stand thing because I have something that will raise my laptop to like there once I've found that I've put it somewhere in here and I don't know where it is then I have the full setup but yeah it's feeling good. I have, oh I need to get my so I've not used this for a while this is my Wacom uh, drawing tablet I bought this at uni with like the very little money that I had and it's great I love it so I might end up using that for the commission I've got to do in a second either that or the mouse 
But first, we have some final tweaks to do for Hannah's designs because the manufacturer wants some changes basically so Hannah's come back to me today and asked me to make those changes so I'm gonna do that and then we'll get started on that commission. have made good progress with this commission there's a cute puppy in it so clearly i'm very happy about it uh gus is still sleeping it is six minutes past four and it's already getting dark i just every year it seems to surprise me how quick it gets dark in the winter and i just why i don't like it like it's very dark in here. Anyway, I am going to have a little bit of a break because I've been staring at this screen for a while now and I'm gonna hang up, or hang up, stick up some of the prints. I found the blue tack. I couldn't find it first. Ooh. And then I realized it was downstairs because of all the Halloween decorations. And then I think in one of these drawers or in one of the smaller drawers are all the prints. So let's find them. Found them. We have a collection of prints and a couple of like thank you cards and stuff look at this little polaroid cute from my 21st birthday i've got some notes to sell little things that i like to have up some of my own soul and firework um little creme brulee sticker from laurel may art laurel's artwork is so nice some of my stuff and then just like random bits like i've got a Soul and fire thing, some more of my own bits of artwork, Laurel's thank you card from last year. And I ordered some like Christmas baubles. This one from Ted and Kip. And then yeah, some like retro thank you cards of my own. I've got this which is London from Paper Chase. This one which is Budapest. This one, oh it doesn't have a name on the back. I can't think of who made this right now. If it's you, please tell me. This one, which is Apple Cheeks. You could download a digital version and print it off yourself, which I really liked because obviously she's based in the US. I've got my No Issue sticker, a Paper Chase one. This from Emma Warren. There's a thing stuck on it right now, but I got this with a jumper I got off of it. This is the first thing I ever caught on my Cricut. This is from a Lucy and Yak parcel. My own one. This we just saw and liked. And then this is from Kathy Cornish, who was part of my big 100,000 subscriber giveaway package of creators. So I'm going to put these up. I'm going to try and not overthink it. Easier said than done. Might need to turn the light on so you can actually see me. But i'm also listening to harry potter i'm on the goblet of fire i read it on my kindle every night and i read about four pages before i fall asleep so it takes me a while to get through books on an evening so i've recently taken to listening to them on audible at the same time especially when i'm doing stuff like this where obviously i can't read but i sort of i'm fed up with listening to music i don't want to commit to trying to find a new podcast that i like so harry potter it is i think it's just my fail safe you know and it's the time of year to watch harry potter i also watched the first harry potter in the cinema the other week with my boyfriend because it's like 25 years or something since the film it was so good i've seen it a million times but watching it in the cinema was something else <laughs>
it's sort of hard to see because of the light. Let's see if turning the main light on works. Mm, sort of. So that is what the wall looks like. I think this could look really, really cute. It's like a filming background, you see? Like this. And then I guess eventually I'll collect more and more and the wall will get even more on it. But I really like this. I feel like I feel like me swapping my office round actually makes so much sense. I just feel like it looks a lot nicer. Obviously I need to move these boxes. And I've turned the lights on that go around the packing desk. I think I'm gonna get fairy lights that go all the way around the perimeter of the room, like on the ceiling, just so it lightens it up a little bit without having to like have this light on all the time because I mean you can see how dark it is and my camera is lighting that up a little bit but yeah I'm really happy with this I think it looks really cute and it feels really cozy and nice so I think that's mission complete thanks for watching this video I'm actually really impressed with how it's turned out I was worried for a little bit at the beginning I really thought I'd made a mistake trying to move everything and it didn't seem like it was going to fit anywhere even though these are a little bit stuck out because of the windowsill it actually feels fine like obviously it's changed the whole layout of the space and there isn't that big blank space in the middle but I don't hate that I feel like it's way more functional now so yeah I'm very excited I just need to tidy up the last few bits but I'm sure you'll see that in next week's video and I am gonna sign off here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget my commissions are open for portraits and I'll see you next time for another one. Bye.